Hey everybody, welcome to a good e-reader video tutorial. This is Marcus and today we're going to give you guys an introduction to the new Kobo e-reader. Now, this e-reader retails in North America anywhere from between $140 to about $160. You can walk into any Chapters Indigo store and most likely buy it as well as in the US. It is also for sale in New Zealand and Australia as well, although it's a little bit more expensive. Now, we have, as you can see here, this is the Kobo Black Edition. It's uh, most of the time if you go into the store or if you order it online, most people just have the white edition, but we were lucky enough to get our hands on the black edition. Now, just to show you what the hardware looks like, the top here, this is your power button, blue button here. And this is where you would put in an SD card for upgraded memory. Doesn't really have a lot of, you know, like a hidden type thing once you put it in. Doesn't have a flap that you could put over it. It's a very cheap e-reader as far as um, both quality and, um, and features. So this is a back. It's actually... It's this is one of the nicer e-readers because it also it has like a grippier back. So when you're holding it for a long period of time, you can see that it has diamond slits and it helps hold on to it more than most e-readers that say have a chrome finished back. Uh, to show you guys here on this side, this is where you would plug in a, a USB cable. So if you're going to power your e-reader if you want to say plug it in to recharge it or if you're plugging it into your PC to copy ebooks to it you simply just plug it in like this and it'll say on the Kobo front screen that it has um, connected up to your machine uh, we've made a video tutorial on how to copy EPUB books to your um, e-reader so now that this is powered on, you can see here that this is our, our active reading list here and give you guys some menu features here. Uh, you can press menu and go to a menu. And this is where you could uh, say, look at all the books in your library. So we're gonna press this and alphabetically It'll show you all the books that came comes with your e-reader. If you press up on this menu, you can go to A, B, C. Uh, just press the, the center button down and it will... So these are the books that comes with it. With the Kobo e-reader, most times you'll have 100 free e-books that come with it. So everything from Frankenstein to uh, Franz Kafka and so on. So I'm going to press menu again. And you could also expand your search for the book by author, by last read. Uh, display. So you can, inst inst you know, this is it during the book browsing, but you can search by covers and text, covers only, text only. So I'm going to press menu again. You can go to settings. And this is where you would look at your account info. Um, you know, the Kobo e-reader actually hooks up to Bluetooth. So you can do some Bluetooth syncing to it. It also tells you how much, you know, storage that you have left, what software firmware version that you have. Kobo hasn't released a new firmware version as of June 21st, 2010. They say that they will be um, providing a new firmware version somewhere in the future that will fix the EPUB font size issues. And again, if you're having um, issues with copying over EPUB books that you have not bought from the Kobo Reader Store, you'll notice that the fonts get very, very small. We've sh shot about a 10 minute video tutorial that tells you exactly what you do to fix that. So check that out. Uh, you can also check out day and time. You can see that the refresh rate on this isn't the fastest, but hey, you get what you pay for. Bluetooth menu here. You can also go to some advanced features. And the only advanced feature that they have right now is to reset the device. So it'll basically reset the device. If you've copied over any books, it will delete those books. 
So it also has a back menu here. So when you're scrolling during uh, the menu features here, simply click back. Now I want to show you some of the setting features that change when you're actually reading a book. So I'm going to go to, and as you can see here that it has almost, uh, it doesn't have a trackball, but it has an elevated menu function here. So you can do back, up, down, right, and left. So I'm going to go to books someone I'm reading. And right now I'm reading The Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake. When you are currently reading a book or reading it for the first time, it has these little quotes by famous authors. Unlike a lot of other e-readers, loading and such isn't instant. It's mainly because of uh, the low quality processor and hardly any RAM that they have here. So this is the book that I'm reading. I'm simply pressing the right button to flip forward or the left button to click backward. Now I'm going to press the menu button and it's going to have some different features that appear here when I'm reading. So I can flip the chapters, table of contents, overview, and so on. Now when I go to display, when I say press this button here, I can actually change the size of the fonts as well as actually change the fonts themselves. You can actually load in custom fonts if you want, such as uh, Times New Roman or Arial or any other fonts that you like. You can actually load them into your Kobo e-reader. And yeah, you can change the fonts in here as well. Because I have loaded in uh, a custom font to fix imported EPUBs, you can see that the font size has changed. So it's like a, a ebook that you purchase from the Kobo store where you can actually change the font. So that's basically an introduction to the Kobo e-reader. Uh, our, our impression of it is for the money that you're investing. It is a quality e-reader. It's very small. And we, uh, we are a big fan of the Kobo e-reader. If you compare it to a normal book, you can see here how small it actually is. both up and down. So you can see looking at it like this, that it's very small. It's very portable. This basically can fit in your back pocket. It's certainly smaller than even the Barnes and Noble Nook. So for good e-reader, this is Marcus and we've hoped you've enjoyed the Kobo e-reader tutorial.